Mountain Elgon population are a victim of Mother Nature twice in less than 10 years. Mudslides have struck Bududa villages with devastating effects. Undisputedly, the disasters associated with climate change often blamed on exerted human pressure on environment. Sironko in Bugiso sub-region is largely an empty plain stretching as far as the eyes can see after the forest cover was cut down for agriculture. Trees planted at the district headquarters a year ago as chanted. The situation is even worse with coffee. From 2015 to 17, uh, to 17, we had planted 6.5 seedlings of coffee. But when we did an, an inventory, the survival rate was only 32. Now, some of the reasons for the high failure rates were one of it was the poor timing. But the other, when we investigated to find out where these survival, or the higher survival rates were registered, mm -hmm. we found out that the main contributing factor is trees planted under shady trees. Nevertheless, coffee plantations are an additional effort to salvage the future through vegetation cover restoration. If we could do match the numbers of seedlings with the, the commercial uh, shady trees, would have an impact, both in terms of environmental protection, you know, Sironko, like many of the districts in, districts in, in Elgon, is prone to landslides. And the good enough, we are planting coffee, which are shrubs. If we could do, integrate that with the, with the agroforestry trees, we would be protecting the environment and at the same time improving on the productivity the coffee productivity. Meaningful implementation of such programs suffices well where land fragmentation is at very minimal. Most tribes in Uganda share land among siblings on reaching adulthood. President Yorimu Seveni has been at the forefront of discouraging this system. People can plant trees that brings them food as well. Fruit trees can be recommended for, 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 for in, in an event like that where there's no land to plant other trees. Fruits can generate you some money, at the same time protect the environment. A region of 200,000 hectares of vegetation cover is destroyed annually in Uganda with only 50,000 hectares planted annually. This is just a quarter of the destroyed forests according to the National Forest Authority data. This dangerously leaves a wide gap. The remaining 70% is managed by the private people, yourself inclusive, myself, that land on people's uh, lands within the communities, that one makes up 75, I mean 70 percent, okay. yes. So now in other words, NFA manages about 15 percent, Uganda Welfare Authority about 15 percent in terms of area, of the forested areas, then the rest is within the communities. The provision of the tree sheds for coffee and limiting land fragmentation, coupled with other efforts, may immensely help temperature regulation and wetting of the earth's surface, leading to continued flow of streams, filling lakes and rivers, beneficial to Nile Basin countries and the region generally. Onyango Jackson, reporting.